bottom of that face. You see it. Then you give the reason as to why the growth rate behaves as, as in that phase that you have mentioned. So we want to say the reasons why in this exponential phase, growth shoots up rapidly. Roman one, an increase in the number of cells dividing, an increase in the number of cells dividing. That one could be the reason. The cells dividing have increased. So as they have been increased, then the growth shoots up. Roman two, cells having adjusted to the new environment, to the new environmental conditions or to the new environment. Now the cells in phase A, the rag phase, the cells had not adjusted. When we come to exponential phase, the cells have already adjusted and therefore it results to the growth in a rapid manner. Roman three, food and other factors are not limiting. Hence cells are not competing for resources. That food that is required for cell to, div to, to divide and other factors like water, oxygen, warm, are not limiting. And therefore, the cells are not competing for resources. There's abundance of the resources. Roman four, the rate of cell increase being higher than the rate of cell death. The rate of cell increase is higher than the rate of cell death. So at this point, the cells are dividing much at higher speed compared to the rate at which the cells are dying. That one also gives us a reasons as to why exponential phase, exponential space, uh, phase is the way it is. So we get to phase C, get into phase C. At phase C, we refer to, to wait as decelerating phase, decelerating phase. You can see from your diagram, from C, from, from where we have partitioned C, where C starts to where it ends, it is decelerating. It's no longer shooting, it is decelerating. This is the third phase during which time growth becomes limited as a result of effect of some internal and external factors or even interaction of both, that is internal and external factors. So the growth is limited due to some of the internal or internal factors, or even sometimes interaction of the same, of both factors. And therefore, the slow growth that we can see there is, is a result of most cells are fully differentiated. Most cells are fully differentiated. Most cells are fully differentiated. Roman two, fewer cells are still dividing. Fewer cells are still dividing. Fewer cells are still dividing. Roman three, environmental factors, that is external and internal factors such as shortage of oxygen and nutrients 
due to high demand by the increased number of cells. Shortage of oxygen and nutrients due to high demand by the increased number of cells. Also, we have space is limited due to high number of cells. Space is also limited due to high number of cells. We also have accumulation of metabolic waste products that inhibit growth, that inhibit growth, that inhibit growth. We also have limited acquisition of carbon for oxide, as in case of plants, as in case of plants. So those are the, uh, those, those, the four points that we have given there. The last four points are at environmental factors. That is internal or even external. But the points that bring about the shape are the Roman one, Roman two, and Roman three. That is, Cells are, most cells are fully differentiated. Fewer cells are still dividing at environmental factors. And now we have gone ahead and said that other environmental factors, these are the, the remitting factors to the growth in that phase. We have talked about shortage of oxygen and nutrients space limitation, accumulation of metabolic waste, and also limitation of acquisition of carbon for oxide. Then on that diagram, you can see the last, you can see the last phase. That is phase D on there. We call it Pratu, Pratu, or stationary phase. Pratu is a flat, a flat, it's a frat, frat, frat. Remember the frat too from the geography aspect. So uh, this stationary phase, this is the phase which marks the period where overall growth has ceased and the parameters under consideration remains constant, constant. We are saying this, this phase marks the period where overall growth has ceased. Growth has stopped. And the parameters that we are looking at remain constant, like mass. We measure several times, it is still constant. Height, still constant. ETC. And this is due to, this is due to the rate of cell division equals to the rate of cell death. The rate at which cell divide equals the rate at which cell die. Uh -huh. The other point is that nearly all cells and tissues are fully differentiated. Nearly all cells and tissues are fully differentiated. Therefore, there is no further increase in the number of cells. Therefore, there is no further increase in the number of cells. Those are the two reasons that the shape is, the phase B is stationary or it's a plateau. Does it mean there is no growth that occurs at all? Let us see. The nature of the curve during this phase may be very depending on the nature of the parameter. The species 
and internal factors. At this stage, the plateau stage, the nature of it, it may it, it is very depending on nature of a parameter, if it is mass, if it is height, it is length. And also the species of the organisms, and also the internal factors, internal factors. In some cases, the curve continues to increase slightly until organism dies as in case of monocotyledonous plant. That is, in some cases, the curve continues to grow, to increase slightly, that even after the curve is at plateau stage, there is a slight growth, a slight increase of the, of the curve. And we have given an example in monocotyledonous plants. In monocotyledonous plants, and also many invertebrates, many invertebrates also have fish and certain reptiles indicate positive growth that that still increase, that slight increase of growth is a positive growth. And we have said that, where does it happen? We have given examples of some reptiles, fish, etc. In some cases, the curve flattens out indicating change in growth, while other growth curve may tail off indicating a period of negative growth late. That in some cases, the curve flattens out indicating change in growth. We have said that a curve may show a slight growth in increase. Now it may flatten completely and also it may tail off the tail off, showing a negative growth rate. The negative pattern characteristics of many mammals, including human being, and is a sign of physical sense associated with increasing age. That this negative growth, that this negative growth may be shown in animals, I mean uh, uh, in, in mammals, especially mammals, and especially human being. An example is a human being, and it happens as age approaches as age approaches. Good, we are still progressing on well. The sigmoid curve does not apply to all organisms. For example, arthropods, arthropods, In insects, growth takes place in intervals. In insects, growth takes place in intervals. If plotted, volume changes against time. A different curve is obtained. And this is called intermittent growth curve. And this is called intermittent growth curve. 
that you've plotted. A different curve is obtained. And that is the one that I've shared. That one is the one that we are referring to as intermittent growth curve. The intermittent growth curve in insect is due to the fact they have exoskeleton and hence growth is possible only when it is shed. Remember insects have got exoskeleton. So if they have exoskeleton, growth cannot have, take place or it is only possible when that exoskeleton is shed. This shedding process is known as molting. Is known as molting. Or echidiasis. Hmm? So cell division continues to take place during the inter molting phase, but the expansion of the tissue is limited by the unshared exoskeleton. So what we are saying that. On that diagram, you can see time. On that side, we can we have the volume, increase in volume, changes in volume. So we have first insta on that diagram. We have intermolt phase, intermolt phase. We have growth phase, and we have that insta. Insta is just the stages. We have the molting and for the insta, fifth ETC until we get to the to the adult. We are saying that you can see the growth. For example, the first insta, where the growth is occurring. Growth is very is not increasing that rapidly. It's not very sharp. It is limited to the mold. So in intermolt phase, the, the exoskeleton will be shed. The exoskeleton will be shed during that insta period. And suddenly, after it has been shed, the cells the cells start to grow. The cell to the cell divides. The cell divides, and now the the graph again shoots up. That's why you can see there is it is like stairs. After molting, the growth shoots up, and we get now to the next insta. When we get to the in, next insta. The exoskeleton is back already, it has grown, it has degenerated. So the growth again is limited. Towards the end of that insta, it sheds off. Then we have another shooting of growth. Shooting of growth. And from there, and the process continues until, until the adult is reached, until the adult is reached. Basically, that is what we wanted to learn today. That is what we wanted to learn, to learn today, to learn today. So, any question from there? Can you unmute yourself? Any question? Unmute yourself. Then ask question or raise hand. No. William. Yes. Question. Yes. Question. No, I have, I have understood. You have understood? Yes. 
a good. I will just send a graph concerning the same we we draw. Then we try to see whether we can be able to answer. Modia Kevin, Kevin. No question. No question. Yes. 